one. Okay. Today's lesson is going to be um, concerning more powerful dogs. Now, Mary the pit bull was a stray. Well, not really a stray. She was abandoned, and I ended up with her from the human from the um, police department. Um, she was a young puppy when I got her. Mary has been learning to be a very good girl. She doesn't really need the pinch collar on, but she's never been in this kind of classroom situation. So I'm going to demonstrate today how we get this dog to be appropriate in a group of dogs um, in the you know society out in the community, and um, this dog needs to be taught. Because first and foremost, if a dog challenges her, her first instinct is to challenge back. She needs to be taught that even if they call you names and they tell you you look funny, she doesn't have the right to retaliate. So we need to make her safe to go out into the public. Now, the other dogs will learn that even if you have this big solid dog, she doesn't have to be a threat if your owner has got a hold of you and that's your hero. So this is kind of a combination. Everybody learns from everybody. And this is Mary. Hey, Mary. Um, Mary is just about probably a year old. Sue went to bring her out of the kennel today, and we discovered she's in heat. She's going to be spayed <laughs> once she's been through this heat. So I wasn't sure if she was, in fact, spayed because she was, <laughs> she was old enough to be spayed when she was dumped off here, and uh, so I guess she's not. <laughs> because she's definitely in heat now. Now you notice Mary has a pinch collar on. The pinch collar is not a necessity if there's nobody here. But because this is such a powerful dog, she's trained. But we need to make sure she makes the decisions. So it's very simple to do, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right. Six. Now, we need um, Six. You why don't you take, take uh, Tuss over here. Ruby, put him with this. me. Get after him. Wait, You're wait, probably wait. too close to the situation. You, you need to be back there, because this interaction and this interaction are going to be really, really astounding. Mm -hmm. First of all, it wouldn't be Buddy he'd be concerned about. It's this one and this one. Okay? Fine. So, at this point, I mean, all you do is step out of the way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Right. Now, you're going to stand. Stephen, you better put it on. You're going to stand just <laughs> as if. I don't know why. Just as that if you're out in public, good. right like this. Good boy. If he does anything, you are going to pull him into that. Easy. Now, this pinch collar is saying, I will rip your throat out. It's not a jerk. It's a pull. Come here, Mary. Come here. Cool. All right. Now, today is going to be a very, very interesting experience for everyone here. Cooper has never been around a lot of confrontation. He's, he believes Nancy and him just have a fun life. He likes to come to school. Nancy brought bagels. So as a reward, we're going we're gonna to push him a little. All right, Ruby has a whole male Airedale. Um, we've got two complications. This dog that I have here, all of a sudden, just before class, decided to come into heat. So that's going to make him a little bit on the crazy side. This is a whole male pit bull over here. So we've got not only a female in heat, but we've got two big whole males who probably wouldn't be friends. You know what, though? This is part of life. Now, if we're going to have our dog out in the community, it is our responsibility to be able to manage that dog. 
If all you do is make excuses, well, you know, he's a whole male and he smelled a female, uh, that's not my fault. If you're going to have that animal, then you darn sure better be in charge of it. So, no excuses. Buddy is doing just fine, except Colleen's getting nervous, so Buddy's getting nervous. It goes right down the lead. Nancy trusts me, so she's standing there like a good girl. <laughs> That's right. Go for it. She's been here long enough. She knows that whatever I throw at these dogs. Okay. Tut is a dog that is bred to control and protect. He's a good dog. He's well trained. He's intense. If anything happens, there's a growl from Varro. Guinness reacts. Mary acts silly. He's going to want to protect Carolyn. So in knowing the personalities of these dogs, we are pre-warned about what they probably will do. This is Varro. How long have you had him, Joan? Seven months. At some point, he will be neutered. But at this point, um, he was astray. The Humane Society wouldn't take him. So Joan has been trying to work with him to get him so he's civilized. He's far better than he was. We're taking his education. Whoa, Z. Z, go easy. I'll get away. That was a Z moment. Um, we're working on getting him more civilized. Um, at some point, he may end up to be a good pet, or he may be placeable. But either way, unless Joan had put the effort forth, this dog was doomed. Mary, I know, you're very cute, is about a year old. She's kind of the victim. She was abandoned. She was raised by a, probably a young girl who really, she lived with a bunny. So the young girl never allowed her to be aggressive, but she didn't know anything either. So Mary had, Mary was a blank slate that had never known her power as a pit bull. Mary's about a year old. She's never known an aggressive day. We've very carefully socialized her. You can see her favorite person's over here. She's a delightful dog. But because she's only really been in the kennel and very controlled situations, we need her to understand that when she starts going out in public, this, is, by the way, is the perfect basis for a service dog. She's not the least bit concerned about any dog here. She's actually turning her back on her. Now, she normally doesn't have a pinch collar on. Come on, babe. Come on, Mary. She has one on today. The reason she has one on today is if Mary decides to get excited for the wrong reasons, I want her to know full well that it's not going to be tolerable. just walked in with Maggie. Maggie's an intense little terrier. She's a rescue. Basically, not officially rescue, but she's rescue. She was from the breeder to another person, to Dale, um, at one point in her life, very fearful of everything. Interestingly enough, she was raised with Amstaffs, American Staffordshire Terriers, and so a pit bull is kind of the next thing to it. It's the AKC's version of pit bull. Okay, so Maggie has no concern about this dog at all. Now, you see this wonderful little skinny dog leaning on me. Why is she doing that? So she doesn't have to pay attention to me. She can watch all of you guys without paying attention because she knows right where I'm at. She's right here next to me. She doesn't know what to do, so she's staying next to me. She's not losing attention on me. This is a blocking exercise. She's in front of me, between you. She can protect me. She can watch you. I'm watching her back. This is a wonderful, potentially fantastic service dog. Girl. Good girl, Mary. Come on. Come on. Good. 
Good job. Now Mary's job is to pay good attention to me. I don't care what's going on. I don't care how many people want to pet you. I don't care how many friends you have. I don't care what dogs are out there. You better have one eye on me at all times. So for that reason, I've, I've still got the cue collar on her, but she's working with a pinch. I want her to understand that not paying attention to me in a crowd is a big crime. Now the cue collar, used correctly, two collars, is a bite. Okay, Ruby, just pull up on his. Okay, so by having a little tagline, Ruby can correct him if he's inappropriate. By having one line tied, Joan can correct Varro. You start getting up into major dogs, the pinch collar is the next step up from the cue collar. The cue collar is a passive correction. Um, it's, it's just, you know, like two teeth, uh, top and bottom. The pinch collar grabs all the way around the neck. And it says, you better not even think about it. Crime is you walk away. It's not meant to hold the dog back on a tight lead. It's meant to bite. Come on. Good girl. So we're not going to become a bully just because we have the pinch collar. Mary's doing exactly what she should be doing, which is waiting for me. Good job. This is tough for Barrow. You're fine, Barrow. Good job, Mary. Tough dog, right? This is one of the best dogs in the world if it's trained. Good job. Now, I'm actually trying to get her to make a mistake. Good girl, Mary. So I have a chance to correct her. She hasn't made a mistake yet. Good girl, Mary. Good job. Good. Good job. She don't care about any of you. You can just see how sweet she is. Oh, this is. But the problem with it is she's so powerful. So her innocent play would slam her to the ground, and she'd say, "Wait a minute here." So this dog just doesn't know her own strength. You see. Once we have established that we have all the kinks worked out, I know you're very cute. Thank you. All right, then we switch Mary to the cue collar. She doesn't know it. So the pinch collar becomes training wheels. So it's funny, we had a class last night and a woman came to see the class and she said, well, I thought you said your collar trained any dog, and I said, it does. She said, well, why are so many dogs wearing pinch collars? Because it's training wheels. Until that dog is solid, you need to have, sometimes with a dog this size, absolutely you need to have this. Because you want no effort. And you also want the ability sometimes to really correct. Guinness doesn't have a pinch collar on. He doesn't need one. Wait. Good. Now, this dog is trained. She just doesn't understand every aspect that if you go here, does it mean here too? Yes, it does. If we go there, is it supposed to apply there? Yes, it does. Training is nothing but giving you tools. Come on, Mary. So it's our job to establish right off the bat, wait. Oh, look at how cute you are. Good job. The temptation with a breed like this is to play roughly with them when you first get them. That's the worst thing you can do. The thing you want to do is treat them softly, calmly. So later on, if you do want to play rough with them, that isn't their normal. That is something you see. Are you cute? You are. Oh, good girl. Hey, Mary. Come here. Hi. 
Okay, that's enough. Oh, you got to have that turn off switch. Okay. At that point, this dog is no longer a danger. Now, this dog has no control except the loop around her neck. Hi, woman. Hi, little woman. Good girl. Come here, Z. Not a problem. Mary, leave it. Thank you. So when she's secure in her mind that the rules apply in this situation, we can go back to treating her like we've taught her. If she makes a mistake, we have to be able to answer that question. Come here, Z. Good girl, Mary. This is a dog that if you raise it wrong, can chew through a solid wood door and kill something or somebody or something. Raised correctly, this dog is one of the most loyal, courageous, intelligent, wonderful companions in the world.